Everyone dreams of having a world record, even if it's really small or really big. And in this video I'm going to try and break a new world record. My first step is to look for a world record to try and beat, and looking over YouTube it seems impossible to beat most of them, so I need to think of my own one. With the recent hype over wall resets, I thought I could try and get the fastest wall reset there is. It would be a really tough challenge to me as so many people have tried wall resets. But there's one problem. Not really anyone has actually tried to get the fastest wall reset, so there's not really any competition to try and beat. So instead, I've tried to make my own goal to get under 0.1 seconds to get the reset off the wall. So make sure to stay to the end of the video to see if I get this goal. And make sure to like and sub to the channel for future videos. There are three types of wall resets that exist. Either the Fetalix jump, the roll reset or the hell jump on the wall. But none of these mechanics is actually possible to get under 0.1 seconds. Two of them you have to jump from the floor and the Fetalix only two wheels leaves the wall. This means it's impossible to get a really fast reset. It's only limited to around 0.3 seconds. With the thousands of attempts of the Fetalix jump, I've never seen one below 0.3 seconds. So I need to try and find a mechanic that you have all four wheels that leave the wall instead of two, as that's the only possible way to get under 0.1. This is where I had to create my own mechanic that had four wheels to leave the wall and get the reset and possibly under 0.1. So my idea was to combine the Fetalix and Roll Reset. This is where you jump and get the reset all on the lip of the wall that could potentially be triple the time faster than the Fetalix. I tried to score this mechanic all night and it worked. But the only problem was I couldn't get it below 0.2 seconds, what is nowhere near my goal. The way I calculated the speed of the flip was putting it in After Effects and frame by frame with a stopwatch, firstly starting it when I jump off the wall, then stopping it when I do my flip to then get a time of how long I was in the air. When trying to improve my mechanic even more, I was on YouTube and I saw a video by VibeBizRL. This was him doing a Fetalix jump, but it looking instant on the wall. And I thought this lost all my hope to get the world record. But when timing it, it was surprisingly slow. It was only 0.2 seconds. Same with backwards Fetalix jumps, a lot of them look a lot faster than they actually are. And I'll quickly explain why this is. Still with 0.2 seconds, it's really hard to see the difference between nothing and the flip. But looking outside the map, you can't see your jump properly, so it looks a lot faster than it actually is. So I learned when your camera angle is out of the map, it looks so much faster than the flip actually is. This is why a lot of backwards Fetalix jumps look stupidly fast, but in reality they aren't. I then realised to get my goal the only possible way to get it was going back to the mechanic I found before where you jump from the lip of the wall but I tried to make it so it could be even faster so I went back to the drawing board. Then with the hundreds of attempts I thought to jump a bit higher on the wall so it reduces time in the air and I finally got this shot. <laughs> Zero point one seconds was insane, but my goal before the video was to get below zero point one seconds, and I still thought of ways to get this even faster. I did this mechanic with the Dominus, was got a longer hitbox, so I thought I could save a lot more time if I use the Octane, was got a lot shorter hitbox, so theoretically it could be even faster. Also in these jumps I was using my thumb to jump and putting my mind back to the infinite jump before. You put the controller on your lap and just spammed A with your fingers instead of your thumbs while it speeds up the flips. So I thought what if I could do this but flip on the lip of the wall instead instead of using my thumb to save a lot more time. 
But with the two things of using the octane was a shorter hitbox and spamming in with my fingers instead of my thumb, with hours of attempts I finally got this shot. With this shot I completely smashed my goal by nearly 0.4 seconds. This was insane. And that's how I got this world record. But in the future I'm sure it's possible to get under 0.5 seconds. So I might be trying to attempt that. Thank you a lot for watching, like and sub and I'll see you next time.